Hey, what's good family? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the stop limit on Robinhood and be sure to stick around to the end because we'll actually hop in the platform and set our stop limit together ourselves. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so here we are. We are looking at some screenshots I took on Moomoo. I personally like the way they demonstrated a lot better. So we're gonna start off by looking at these and then we're gonna move over to Robinhood to actually talk about how we would enter that in. Now looking at this, you can set a stop limit entering a trade and you can set a stop limit exiting a trade. There are reasons people would want to do both. Now looking at what a stop limit is, if we look here, we're looking at the buy side. So this is assuming we are buying an options contract. So whenever the market price rises to the trigger price, the system automatically submits a limit order. I say we were looking at buying an options contract and say we set our stop price at $5. Once the options contract comes up to five, that is going to trigger another order for us to actually buy it at whatever price we want to buy it at. But we need to put the price we want to buy it at beforehand. And then it also needs to come to or below that buying price for us to actually be in the trade. Some other notes to pay attention to on the buy side, you're going to want to set the trigger price higher than the market price. And then on the sell side, you're, you're going to want to set the trigger price lower than the market price. Otherwise, if you don't set those triggers in the right place, you're, you're going to instantly be stopped out and you're going to have your order filled right away. And it's probably not going to be the most favorable situation. Now here's an image of the same thing, but just as if we're selling out. So say the stock is trading up here at the current price. Our trigger price is going to be lower and that is going to initiate our order to sell. And I took this screenshot just for comparison. This is what a regular stop loss is like. This is what I prefer to use. The way a stop works is whenever it comes to your trigger price, it initiates a market order. So instead of me having to know what price is it going to be at because pricing is tricky with options, it's just going to sell it at the whatever is going on the market. And it's going to get filled instantly. So that's why I prefer stop losses. I know my orders are going to get filled. Whereas when it comes to stop limits, you don't know if it's going to hit that limit price. You don't know if your order is going to get filled. All right. So we're going to want to come to the options contract. We're going to hit trade. You're going to want to hit sell and you're going to want to select limit order stop limit and now let's go over how we would want to enter in right here so looking at the screen uh, we have two prices we're going to put in first thing we're going to want to do is set the number of contracts so i only have one contract and i'm going to take one for the team i'm actually down on this contract not quite ready to sell it but just for the sake of the video i'm going to sell out of it and show you how this stop price actually works. So, so say we set the stop price at 38. All right. All right. So the stop price is at 38 and the limit price, this, the stop price is going to be where it triggers. So if you want it to sell out right away, you either want it to be at this price or below, or you're going to want it to be at least like right below. So I'm going to do 37 in this instance, but be aware sometimes options contracts don't move one cent at a time. So it could also be safer to drop down to like a 34, anywhere like that, but just know it's going to get filled in between. And I'm actually here, I'm going to bump this up just so you can see. Okay. So I'm going to move this up to 36. It looks like it's going for about 39 right now. So I'm going to set my stop to 39. I'm going to hit review and Let's see what this gets filled at. It'll probably, since my limit order is at 36, probably fill in between. So it might get filled at like 37 if I had to guess, since it's trading at about 40 or 39 right now. Oh, actually the price has dropped already. We'll switch that again real quick to 38. And yeah, let's switch it again. All right, we've put the order in. And now we're gonna wait for it to get filled. See what it gets filled at. All right, so it got filled at 37. I put the limit price at 36, and that is how you set a stop limit. The main thing with the stop limit is you wanna make sure 
your limit price is below your stop price. If you haven't already taken advantage of it, be sure to check out the Moomoo Moo referral link down below in the description. When you sign up using that link, they are giving up to 15 free stocks when you sign up using the link down below in the description and make a deposit. If you learned anything or found this video to be helpful, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off. And I want to change your life.